Hello YouTube, Minecraft Ingots, Xbox One Edition. Let's jump into our world. Um, the last episode we had, um, we had built a bit of an entranceway, the ring, and uh, and that's about it. Uh, today we want to get a little bit further. Let's fill this in. Wow, I didn't mean to run like that. Um, actually, let's just stop there. Um, what was I saying? Let's get a little bit further. Let's try and put in some seats or something. Uh, uh, right there should be good. I don't know if that's where I went on the other side, but whatever. Um, wow, I don't know what I was saying. Whatever, just put in some fucking wool. Um... All right, let's finish this, this fence here. Let's, um, God, what was I going to say? Uh, this episode, the last episodes were, uh, I recorded two episodes the last time I recorded, so there should be probably about two coming out of this one as well. They were both about, like, I mean, I want to say they were both, like, 15 minutes long, but I know they weren't 15 minutes long. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like, I know one was, like, 16, so the other one was, like, 14 or whatever, but whatever, you know, don't judge me. Um... And they weren't bad. Uh, I mean, like where I cut where I cut the one off, it was like I don't know, it was just like a weird place to cut it off. But like, I didn't know where else to, <laughs> I didn't know where else to cut it off at. So I just kind of was like, whatever. Kind of like paused for a second, I think, and so I was just like, man, cut it there. Um. So we should have a couple episodes here out of this little bit. Let's just build stuff and talk wrestling. So, uh, so wrestling's going on the Royal Rumble. Let's talk about the Royal Rumble. This should be out. Oh man, I don't know. This might not be out before the Royal Rumble, because I don't know when I'm gonna actually upload these. So uh, let's not talk the Royal Rumble. Let's talk WrestleMania. These will be up before WrestleMania. Let's discuss the biggest event of the year, Mania. Uh, personally, uh, with Daniel Bryan coming back, I think uh, I think I I would love to see Daniel Bryan versus Seth Rollins at WrestleMania, uh, just because they've done that match in Ring of Honor a few times and. They, you know, they, they work, they work good together, you know, uh, um, that or John Cena versus Daniel Bryan, and I know everybody hates, you know, John Cena or whatever, but, uh, you know, he puts on, he puts on good matches at WrestleMania. I mean, John Cena puts on good pay-per-view matches regardless of what pay-per-view it is, but WrestleMania is, you know, he, everybody comes out and they, and they perform and they, they do their part and, uh, and John Cena is no exception to that, um. He, he does what he has to do to get over. Well, I mean, I guess he doesn't do what he has to do to get over because he's not over. Well, I guess with the with the uh, casual audience, he can be considered as over because children love him and, you know, my girlfriend likes him, so whatever. What have you? Um, but Daniel Bryan versus John Cena would be a great match, right? Maybe for the title. If Brock Lesnar drops the title to Cena at the pay-per-view... There's no, uh, there's no stairs here. I don't think we're gonna put in stairs. Well, let's see. Let's see if we can fit stairs in. Uh, if John, or if Brock Lesnar drops the title to Cena at the pay-per-view, at Royal Rumble, and remember, I don't know when this is coming out, so he may have already. Oh, see, I can't do that. So he may have already. Uh, well, let's stop flying. Let's see if we can just. Yeah, we can just jump up there. So and then we can wrestle. Um, once again, if Brock Lesnar drops the title to John Cena, we can still get a Brock Lesnar Roman Reigns match. Um, which would be cool, um, but um, um, shoot, what was I saying? Uh, I don't want that there. I want it like here. There we go. Oh, I decided that. Um, anyways, but we we can have like a Roman Reigns. Uh, um, God, I can't I can't do this today. There we go. Uh, we can still get the Roman Reigns Brock Lesnar match. That way, you know, Roman Reigns can still get his victory over um, Brock Lesnar, and uh, and all is good in the world of professional wrestling again. Uh, that being said, I don't think the title needs to be there. I think if you give the title to Roman Reigns too early, people will turn on Roman, 
and uh, I guess that's not the worst thing in the world. He can just turn heel like Batista did when he came back, and everybody was like, what the fuck, man? Batista just won the Rumble? What are you kidding me? Uh, so it's not all bad. There's another village over there. Oh, this is pretty far away. This is pretty far away. Let's turn back. Let's turn back. <coughs> um, but that's my thought on, on WrestleMania. Uh, the rest of it doesn't really matter. I mean, the tag titles... I would, I would love to see, you know, like Tyson Kidd and Cesaro get the shot uh, against whoever is the tag team champions. Um, maybe do like a fatal four-way tag match like they used to do. Uh... I feel like they just did that once, but there was, but both shows did it. Um, maybe it wasn't even at a WrestleMania. I don't know. I feel like it was. I don't know. I've watched too many wrestling pay-per-views in my day to remember which ones were what. Did I do two over there or three over there? Looks like three. Yeah, I did three. Um, so I decided, as I was, as I started to say and then stopped, that this is like a. It's not an indie show because it's. I mean, it's going to be too big to be an indie show. So it's like it's it's not raw. It's like uh, I guess you can compare it to like TNA, where they're selling out like small venues, but they're on television and they have an actual set. Um, well, they used to when they were in the Impact Zone. They would have you know that whole set, which was cool, but they don't have it anymore. Uh, then again, I don't watch TNA anymore since they moved to Destination America because I don't think I have Destination America. Um, I started to watch when they when they were doing the tapings at the Manhattan Center with like the Wolves versus like the Hardys or the Wolves versus the Dudleys or whatever they had going on. Those were sick matches, but uh, whatever. That's over and done with now. Um, now they're on Destination America. We're gonna put some stone in. Uh, I hope TNA does well, but you know, you got things like Lucha Underground and New Japan is, uh, I heard they made like a, they had like a TV deal with like Axis or something like that, um, which like kudos, you know, like I, I think New Japan's taken over the world, um, and I think part of that is, is because of Bullet Club, and if you don't know who Bullet Club is, like definitely look up Bullet Club, uh, I mean they're like the new, they're like the new NWO, and I mean that's the comparison that they get, and it's mainly because they you know they do the too sweet and and whatever you know uh, they're crotch chopping whenever they get the chance and and all this stuff. But um, did I go? What did I do here? Did I mess? No, I guess I didn't mess up. But uh, you know they got the black and and white. But I hope they don't overdo it. And uh, I mean the Bullet Club is so cool in America right now, and it's like nobody really knows why. Uh, but it definitely helps New Japan with the American audience and with Wrestle Kingdom 9. I don't know if I talked about Wrestle Kingdom 9 last time, but it's just been a few days since I recorded those episodes and when I recorded these episodes. Um, but with, like, having JR and Matt Stryker at Wrestle Kingdom 9, that's huge. That's huge because you have all these people in America wanting to see the Bullet Club, wanting to understand the story. Uh, as well as just wanting to see some good wrestling. And there was some great wrestling. Shinsuke Nakamura and uh, Ibushi? I Ibushi, I think is his name, right? That was a great match. Uh, Tanahashi and Okada. Oh, God, what a, what a way to end the show. Um, this pig needs to get the fuck out of my way. Um, <clears throat> that was a great match. Okada is the young guy that's, like, you know, going to be the next big guy. And Tanahashi is that big guy. And... Tanahashi won, and like the whole time, I thought I thought Okada was gonna win, um, <clears throat> and he didn't. And then he cried when he didn't win, um, which I thought was great. I thought that was a great way to end the end the show. And Bullet Club was there, and and whatever. And it was great. It was wonderful. I think we're gonna put seats up here. We'll see. Uh, let's start the seats though. Let's go. Uh, let's just do. Oh my bad. I should probably do it this way, huh? Let's. We're gonna do it like this uh let's see right there uh let's see how many is that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen half of fifteen would be what like 
Um, right there. No, that's not it. Instead of just trying to figure out the number, I'm just going to bash. Uh, one more. Let's go one more. Because there is no actual half of 15, but it would just be half of 14, which is 7. Which would be the exact half of 15. Not like, whatever. Yeah, God, I don't care if you understand what I'm saying. I'm just like, I'm just talking out of my ass. So just leave me alone, guys. Uh, half. No. Not even close. Half. No. Half. That's half. That's half. Yep. Corners will look like that, I guess. I don't know. Um, let's keep building here. I think I had it right there at the end, right? Boop. And half. I think I got that one. No, I think it needs to be one more in. Am I whispering? I think I'm whispering. Let me check. How long have we been running this thing? 11 minutes. So that's probably about episode one, huh? All right, guys. Bye. See ya. That's episode one. Episode two. What up? Hey. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just like, I'm not stopping recording. I'm just saying, hey, what's up? Episode one, episode two. Even though it's episode three and four. Uh, nope, not there. Right there. Oh, this side's smaller. Is that? Whatever. There we go. Is that right? Is, the other, is that side smaller? No, there's no way. Maybe. Who knows? Who cares? Um, did I? I did this right, right? Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. That looks damn good. How many rows should we have on the floor, though? About five should be good, huh? I wish I had the uh, the tool that does this for you now. Oh, well. I don't have it. This is probably a... Uh, Minecraft is kind of like my chill my little my my chill little show um like i'm definitely not nearly as loud on this show as i am uh universe mode let's go back here i mean it's gonna have to be this big anyways um like i'm probably gonna have to actually just turn the volume up on my voice because i'm practically whispering what did we talk about so far? NXT. No, we didn't talk about NXT. What are we? What am I saying? We talked about TNA. NXT is way better. NXT is just like the greatest thing going in the WWE right now, which is awesome. Um, but it also makes me sad because it's like I don't want any of the guys in NXT to leave NXT because what they're doing there right now easily rivals and then beats whatever they're doing in Monday Night Raw, which, which you have to understand makes sense because NXT. Although they do live events, you know, they do house shows or whatever. They don't do as many shows as Raw and SmackDown does. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Uh, they don't do as many shows as Raw and SmackDown does. Uh, and then they tape all of their episodes, you know, they tape like four episodes in one night or whatever. And, um... And they're not, it's not like, or it's like Kevin Owens, for example. He did the first episode after to NXT Revolution, or Our Evolution, and then he didn't wrestle uh, again that night, you know? So, like, it, it the the risk for injury is way lower than, than the guys wrestling on the main roster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what they're allowed to do in the ring... Uh, is way better. I'm assuming that they're probably not as exhausted as the guys on the main roster because I'm sure they don't have to, you know, they're not doing, I don't want to say they're not doing as much. I'm sure they're they're working out at the performance center and everything like that, but they're not doing media appearances every day and stuff like that. Um, they don't, you know, they're not wrestling five nights a week or four nights a week or whatever. Um, although, you know, once again, I'm sure they're wrestling, but whatever. Um, I think that there's a difference and, uh, I think that's, I think that's what we, what we see on, on the show. Um, but I mean, as far as story goes, I think, I think that the stories that they tell are, are just way better. You know, maybe it's because they're fresh and they're different than whatever's going on on Monday Night Raw, and that's, I mean, that's kind of the point, though, right? 
I think maybe Monday Night Raw should try just doing something fresh and new.